One man is dead, another in trouble after a bizarre accident involving a golf cart and a car in Smithfield overnight. Police say Ryan Cooling was driving the golf cart with no headlights in the wrong lane when he collided with the car. He died from his injuries. Look at the damage. You can see that car flipped over. This happened near Fairway Drive in Route 10, just south of downtown Smithfield. And tonight, we know the driver of the car is facing charges. And people at a nearby golf course tell our Evan Watson that someone stole a golf cart overnight. In Smithfield, you can't drive a golf cart on a road with a speed limit higher than 25 miles per hour. You also can't drive one at night. So here on Route 10, Smithfield police say this accident should have been avoided. The Route 10 speed limit is 55 miles per hour. At night, there are very few lights. Police say if you add in alcohol and an illegal golf cart ride, you can get Friday's fatal accident. Photos from the early morning crash show a flipped car and a mangled golf cart. The driver of the golf cart, Ryan Cooling, died at the scene. The car's driver, Joseph Connolly, is now charged with DUI. It's dark at nighttime. Get a golf cart out there or any slow moving vehicle in that case. It's a recipe for disaster. This morning, Smithfield police learned the golf cart in the crash was stolen from nearby Cypress Creek Golfers Club overnight. It was reported stolen. We completed the report. Um, and unfortunately, in this circumstance, it's a report that's been generated and closed at the same time. Golf club officials are reviewing security tapes, but it doesn't stop there. They say someone also vandalized the course by driving a golf cart over the greens. Plus, there was an overnight burglary reported from a home near the course. Police are still investigating, and the three reports can't be connected at this time. Smithfield Police Deputy Chief Matt Rogers says this fatal crash is a reminder of how dangerous driving can be. A horrible combination of factors there um, where it shouldn't have been there in the first place and it led to a, a very tragic situation. He says even though many residents drive golf carts, this is Smithfield's first deadly golf cart crash. Evan Watson, 13 News Now. State police warning DUI crashes spike during the summer and they jump up in the weeks leading to Labor Day. Troopers will be out in force checking for impaired drivers. Expect an increase in patrols until the holiday weekend. Government safety experts say 10,000 people die in drunk driving accidents every year and fatal crashes triple during the Labor Day holiday.